Sildenafil, commonly known as Viagra, is a phosphodiesterase 5 inhibitor that is predominantly employed for two primary indications. Treatment of erectile dysfunction and the treatment of pulmonary arterial hypertension. Before moving on, a bit of physiology. During sexual arousal, nitric oxide is released from nerve terminals and endothelial cells in the corpus cavernosum of the penis. This nitric oxide activates an enzyme called guanylate cyclus, which converts guanosine triphosphate or GTP into cyclic guanosine monophosphate or CGMP, triggering a CGMP-dependent cascade of events. The accumulation of CGMP leads to smooth muscle relaxation in the corpus cavernosum and increased blood flow to the penis, causing an erection. Phosphodiesterase 5 is an enzyme that is predominantly found in the corpus cavernosum of the penis, and it cleaves cyclic GMP to its inactive form. Phosphodiesterase 5 inhibitors such as sildenafil, vardenafil, and tadalafil are structurally similar to cyclic GMP. These medications competitively bind to the phosphodiesterase enzyme and prevent cyclic GMP from hydrolysis, which enhances the effects of nitric oxide on penile smooth muscle cells, leading to a prolonged erection. However, since these medications do not directly act on the smooth muscle cells, an adequate sexual stimulation is necessary for an erection to occur. Phosphodiesterase 5 enzyme is also found in the pulmonary vasculature. So, these medications can also be used in the treatment of pulmonary arterial hypertension. Sildenafil is taken per orally, and it is quickly absorbed from the GI tract. Peak plasma concentration of the drug can be achieved within 30 to 120 minutes. Absorption of sildenafil is slightly impaired by foods. Therefore, the drug works best on empty stomach. It is predominantly metabolized by cytochrome P450 enzymes in the liver. Therefore, liver enzyme inducers such as rifampicin and phenytoin will increase the levels of sildenafil in blood, whereas liver enzyme inhibitors such as erythromycin and ketoconazole will decrease blood levels of sildenafil. The drug is predominantly eliminated in feces and to a much lesser extent in urine. Sildenafil is available as 25, 50, and 100 mg tablets. Recommended dose is 50 mg, taken one hour before the sexual activity. It is important to know that the maximum dosing frequency is once per day. The dose can be extended up to 100 mg depending on the response. Sildenafil is well tolerated by most individuals. Mild side effects include the following. Headache. Flushing. Dyspepsia. Nasal congestion and nasopharyngitis. One of the more serious adverse effects is prolonged and painful erections, lasting more than six hours. Patients are advised to seek immediate medical attention in such instances. Left untreated, it can lead to permanent penile tissue damage. Another rare but serious adverse effect is visual abnormalities and sudden loss of vision. Patients should discontinue the drug and seek immediate medical attention in such situations to prevent permanent visual loss. Sudden hearing loss is also another such adverse effect that should be addressed immediately. Finally, Sildenafil is contraindicated in patients who are taking organic nitrates such as nitroglycerin because the use of these drugs together can lead to hypotension. Additionally, the starting dose should be 25 mg in patients with renal failure. And the drug is contraindicated in patients with severe hepatic impairment.